the Toyota Prius is one of those cars that's virtually invisible. It's just part of the scenery, especially in those cities where it has become the taxi driver's champion. But do you know what? This car deserves to be recognized for what it is, a true pioneer. Before we go any further, here is a quick reminder to give this video a like, hit subscribe and turn on notifications by ringing the little bell icon so that you'll be notified when our new films go live. And with that all out of the way, welcome to the Mark II Toyota Prius. This car was actually launched in 2003 at the New York Motor Show and went on sale in most markets in 2004. Now the reason that the Prius has been such a success is for its efficiency, of course. Now this Mark II generation got a 1.5 litre four cylinder petrol engine and of course an electric motor and battery pack. Now it's really around town that the Prius makes most sense because that is where you get the benefit of that electric running. It's where it's quiet uh, because you do get quite a bit of noise from this petrol engine when you're out on open roads if you accelerate hard. There's all of 112 brake horsepower to use, so you're not really gonna be terribly incentivized to go fast anyway. Also, the Prius came with skinny little tires in addition to this amazing aerodynamic shape, uh, which is why it was such an efficient car. But it doesn't help with understeer, it has to be said, so if you want to drive it in any spirited fashion, it doesn't really do too well. It's comfortable, it's quiet, it makes around town stuff so easy. Not just because it's quiet and everything just feels quite straightforward to use, but because the turning circle is fantastic. You sort of, you put in a couple of turns on the steering wheel and think you're gonna reach the maximum lock and then it just keeps going. So it really is fantastic for that. It's great for sort of winding around car parks and that sort of thing. Get it out on the motorway and it gets a bit noisy and it's not as efficient either. We've done quite a bit of motorway and B roads today and we're getting about 47 mpg out of this car. It will certainly do 50 mpg and up fairly easily if you spend more time around town. Even the dash in this car is really quite special now. I guess looking at it from 10 years and more plus, it's got kind of a retro cool aspect to it, but the dials are very high set above the steering wheel. They look like they're straight out of sort of a 90s digital Casio calculator, which is fantastic. All the little details from the start button down here, which was also quite novel at the time, and the gear shifter being right up here on the dash, it freed up all of this space down around your knees and around the center console. And it just makes the whole thing feel really kind of airy and spacious. It's a really nice thing. There's something quite charming about this car. It's not fun, but it's just very well thought out but it still costs more than diesel alternatives like the Volkswagen Golf, Ford Focus and Toyota's own Corolla. It was only gradually over the years that Toyota managed to cut the price of the Mark II Prius and by the time it went off sale, it had sold over 1.2 million examples worldwide. Here's something worth knowing too. The Prius doesn't just make a good buy new, but it can also be an exceptional used car purchase. The current fourth generation Prius is already good value and is remarkably economical even in real world driving, where 60 to 70 mpg is perfectly possible. Older second and third generation cars are also still widely available and promise lower road tax and similar fuel economy to equivalent diesels. Reliability is very good too, with even high mileage examples generally proving trustworthy and hard wearing, provided they've been properly maintained. It is well worth looking for a properly serviced example because a standard you get a five year 100,000 mile warranty on the car and the battery inclusive but if it's serviced at Toyota they will extend the battery warranty for an unlimited mileage and 15 years so that is well worth looking for. Having said that the reliability is as I said just generally really good on these cars even on the Mark II which doesn't really have many common faults other than on this digital display which can occasionally fail. Regardless the Toyota is a reliable car and even if you go for an older one like this or one of the newer ones that we would recommend, it's going to be an efficient, practical and surprisingly likeable car to drive. And not only that, but this is a really practical family car as well. Despite that aerodynamic shape, the Prius's boot is a really good size. It's not as deep as you get in a hatchback, but it will still be more than good enough for most families. There's also masses of room in the rear seats, with loads of room for an adult to get comfortable or to fit a bulky child seat, and there are Isofix points as well. So here is the thing about the Toyota Prius. 
When it came out, it wasn't the first hybrid, nor was it actually the most efficient, nor even the most futuristic looking, given that the Honda Insight was around as well. But it did make hybrid technology mainstream. It made hybrids affordable and relevant to the average person and the average business. And that really is the joy of this car. It's one of those really forward-thinking cars that has completely shaped the automotive world. It's a hybrid for the people, and that is why the Prius is a true pioneer. If a used Toyota Prius is what you're after, you can find a huge spread of examples on cargurus.co.uk, which is the place to go to find great deals from top-rated dealers. And while you're here, don't forget to subscribe and turn notifications on.